Hi, this is a quick uh, demo of the Lakeland 5576 that I'm currently got up for sale. Uh, it's a bit of an oddity, but all the details are on the listing on uh, in the classifieds of basechat.co.uk. Do a quick run through now, though. As it said in the ad, it's a very early one. It has no serial number. Um, it has no Made in USA stamp on the back of the headstock, which the later ones have, obviously. The tuners, although they're hip shots, are non-branded. And I have a 5594 base, which is very similar as much as it doesn't have a USA stamp. It d has the same style of tuners, unbranded tuners, but it does have a serial number which dates it to 1998. So the assumption is this predates that. Not sure how many years, but it must be early, maybe even a pro prototype of the model. It came to me a few years ago as a line fretless with an ebony board. I had it fretted by a very skilled luthier. As you can see, he's polished the ebony, so it's like a mirror. You can see a face in it, literally. But he's done a beautiful job on it. Um, and it has, uh, essentially, it, it is a Stingray. If you're a fan of Stingrays, this is basically a 35-inch scale, 19mm spacing Stingray 5. And it sounds like one. The uh, electronics are Batlini preamp, um, master volume, push-pull, afroactive passive, Three band EQ and a micro switch, which is three positions. Back position is the sort of standard Stingray um, uh, parallel coil sound. Middle position is the front coil only. And the front position is the uh, parallel, sorry, series coil sound, which is a bit thicker and fatter. But you'll hear from uh, when I run through the, the tones just now. Everything's flat, flat EQ on the bass, flat EQ on the desk. Thank you. 